Parkstone International is pleased to present you. Dracula. Written by Elizabeth Miller. Transylvanian mystique and legendary hauntedness around the most infamous Bram Stoker's protagonists, forming a legacy that allows the myth to continue into modern times, maintaining a cultish following, yet broadening to a general fascination. Dracula became such an obsession as it embodied a taboo subject matter, the desire for blood and sex. Filled with extraordinary pictures of the Count, his literary companions, and the movie idols, this is a treasure only to be read by daylight. Vampires did not originate with Count Dracula. A revenant who returns from the grave to suck the blood of its victims in order to sustain its existence, the vampire has its origins in the folk legends of many countries, most specifically in Central and Eastern Europe. From these roots it metamorphosed into the more familiar image that has dominated literature and popular culture for the past 100 years. Attempts to identify the genesis of the vampire legend are fraught with difficulty. Inquiry is further complicated by what folklorist Jan Pakowski refers to as contamination, the process by which the vampire has been merged with other supernatural beings such as the Mora, Strigoi, Incubus, Werewolf and Poltergeist. If one confines the search to legends associated with the word vampire or its many variants, the trail leads to the Slavic countries of Europe. Most folklorists concur that the word vampire has Slavic roots, first appearing as a proper name, Upper, in an old Russian manuscript of the 11th century, and as a generic term in a Serbian manuscript 200 years later. The form vampire has been found in a 15th century South Slavic source. Pakovsky defines the Slavic folkloric vampire as a half-human, half-supernatural being, a reanimated corpse that emerges from its grave to prey on the living and asserts that it arose as a consequence of the clash of orthodox Christianity with dualist heterodoxy. Other scholars contend that belief in vampires existed in southern and eastern Europe before the advent of Christianity and later spread among the Slavic people who apparently passed it to their non-Slavic neighbors. Some suggest that gypsies may have brought some of the legends with them from India. Though the term vampire is of comparatively recent vintage, the image goes back much further in time. If one applies a more liberal definition, including either the return from the dead or the blood drinking, one can identify vampires in various cultures around the world, including a wide range of revenants, ghosts and restless spirits.